Hello everyone, this is Kronotikin, and today I want to try to answer all of your questions regarding Jurassic Park operations. Really quick, I just want to say how much I appreciate all of the support recently, and how happy I am to see so many people get excited over this project. I'm very passionate about this, and will do everything in my power to get this game out as quickly and in the best quality possible. I'm going to divide this video into chapters, so if you have any specific question you want answered, just go into the description, and there should be a timestamp for it. If it turns out your question isn't answered in this video, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer it there. So what is Jurassic Park Operations? JP Operations is a fan-made Jurassic Park game made to capture the spirit of the original movie and put players back on Isla Nublar to experience a new adventure. Our goal is to try to blend some of the canon from the book and the film to create something truly unique for Jurassic Park fans. The game is in first person and will have a lot of varied gameplay. In the demo alone, you will hunt raptors, drive through the T-Rex paddock, pilot the river adventure raft, and explore sections of the island. Who is making the game? Right now it's a very small team of me and two others, although we have had other people help along the way. I'll make sure to leave links in the description to my friends who have been working hard on this game since the beginning two years ago. They occasionally post previews of the game, so make sure to give them the support they deserve. Now probably what everyone wants to know, how can you play this game? To play, you're going to need a PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 and a copy of Dreams. I'll get into exactly what Dreams is next, but unfortunately that means it will not be coming to PC or other consoles anytime soon. As much as I would love for everyone to be able to play it, there is currently no way for us to export our game. When it releases, all you have to do is buy Dreams, then search for Jurassic Park Operations in the Dreams search engine and hit play. There's absolutely no charge to play our game other than the cost of Dreams itself. So what is Dreams? In very simple terms, it's an app on PS4 and PS5, and it's what we're using to make this game. It's a creation engine that allows people to build, collaborate, and share their work. You can make games, animations, models, music, and more. Everything you see in Dreams is created with a controller and made completely from scratch. However, there are a lot of limitations. For one, you can only have a small amount of objects in each scene. And there's a huge limit to the amount of detail you can add to assets. This means that not everything is going to look perfect up close, and we can't have huge open worlds. We're doing our best to make this game look and feel like a AAA title, and I've even found some techniques to help save memory, but unfortunately there's only so much we can do with these limitations. So then you might ask, why make this in Dreams? Well, here's the thing. I knew nothing about 3D animation, modeling, or game design before Dreams. All I knew is that I wanted to learn it one day, and that Dreams seemed to be the most accessible. A few years later, and I'm able to make things like this. Sure, it has its flaws, but the unique features of Dreams coupled with its great accessibility makes for something truly special. Just look at how easy it is to manipulate objects in 3D space. If I want to tilt something, then I just turn the controller, or I can fine tune it with the analog stick. It makes something like animation and creation as a whole fast and easy to understand. There are also a ton of in-game tutorials and helpful videos on YouTube to help you get started if you want to learn Dreams. So the next big question, when will Jurassic Park Operations release? Right now, we don't have any set release date for when our game will be released, but we are aiming for a demo to be out in early 2023. As for what will be released, the demo will feature three unique mini-games, or as we like to call them, Operations. Operations are kind of like what-if scenarios in the Jurassic Park universe. There will be an operation where you have to enter Raptor Valley and hunt down raptors. A river adventure operation, where you have to pilot a riverboat through an interpretation of the iconic Universal Studios ride. And the final operation will be about venturing into the T-Rex paddock and attempting to reboot the motion sensors just before the iconic T-Rex breakout scene from the film. The demo will also have a few other features, like a free roam mode where you can explore sections of the island, and a dinosaur profile where you can look at the dinosaurs up close. 
After we release the demo, we are going to start working on the single player campaign. The single player campaign will be a survival horror game set during the events of the first film. I don't want to go into too much detail on the story, but I will say that it features a new protagonist as well as returning characters like Robert Muldoon. Along with the story mode, there also might be new operations and improvements to the free roam mode after release. What species will be featured in the game? In the demo, there will be 8 dinosaurs. These are Brachiosaurus, T Rex, Velociraptor. Gallimimus, Parasaurolophus, Dilophosaurus, Triceratops, and a dinosaur that has never actually been featured in the films, Herrerasaurus. We took the designs from Jurassic Park the game and Jurassic World Evolution and combined aspects of each to make this. The full game will likely feature more species like Pteranodon and maybe even marine reptiles. Now onto the issue of copyright. A lot of people have asked what we're going to do if Universal gets involved and asks us to stop making the game. This is worst case scenario, but if this did happen, we would take all of the assets and locations we've made and create short films and animations with them. Either that, or we would have to start removing any mentions of Jurassic Park from the game. Again, this is worst case scenario and hopefully won't be something we have to worry about since we're not making any money off of people playing the game. Will there be VR support? Yes, although only for PS5 players. Unfortunately, the PS4 version doesn't run our game well enough to support PSVR. We want to get VR support out with the demo, but it might end up taking a little longer if we want to do it right. As for PSVR 2, we don't know if it'll work. It's been confirmed that PSVR 2 isn't backwards compatible with PSVR games, and no announcements have been made about Dreams working with PSVR 2, so it probably won't be supported at launch. Will there be multiplayer in Jurassic Park operations? Probably not. Dreams doesn't have any online multiplayer at the moment, but it is rumored that there will be a multiplayer update coming in 2023. If that ends up being true, we will definitely be taking advantage of that and implementing it into our game. If you'd like to support the game and my videos, I just launched a Patreon. Consider becoming a patron and get some more exclusive content and behind the scenes looks at the game and my animations. The link will be in the description. Once again, if you have any other questions that weren't answered in this video, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them there. Before I go, I just want to thank you all so much for 9,000 subscribers, and I can't wait for people to finally get their hands on the type of Jurassic Park game that fans have been asking for. That's all from me. I hope I was able to answer most of your questions regarding Jurassic Park operations. This has been Chronotican, and I'll see you next time.